This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos, I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see man, I have that data. I got tail every day. The day they release such as false. I'm gonna give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, a lot of people uh I don't want to say obsessed, that's not the right word. But they're very concerned about the reverse split. And I'm not trying to buy, hold, or sell AMC. I'm not trying to buy, hold, or sell eight. What I'm telling you is this. Do I want the reverse split? Of course I do not. I do not want the reverse split. I think it is horrible for retail investors. I think it's horrible for pension funds. I think the only person that benefits is, is the bad actors and the hedges who've created, in my opinion, billions of counterfeit shares. And we can see that by the FTDs, by the dog pool volume, by oh, good morning, by all the other malfeasance that we see in the market. But here's the thing, the reverse split goes down. The conversion goes down, which based on everything I've seen, and remember, I, I'm not, I don't have access to all the information, Judge Zern or Vice Chancellor Zern should not approve it. But I have to think worst case scenario, I have to think worst case scenario that Vice Chancellor Zern approves the reverse split and approves the conversion. If she does that, these bad actors will double down on the criminality in AMC and pushing it down and they will double down on the criminality to manipulate APE and pushing it up to try to get them to meet in the middle. But how will that affect my actions? And a lot of people are not going to like this, but it's not really going to affect my actions one bit. Not one bit. Okay? Because... I'm still not gonna sell until AMC Moaz. There's no way in my mind for AMC to go to bankruptcy. It can't happen unless they do it on purpose, which will open up the floodgate of lawsuits. Because as I told you numerous times, if they didn't go bankrupt when there was no money coming in for over a year, just debt, and now they got multiple revenue streams and they go into bankruptcy, it's called they choose to go into bankruptcy because they want to go into bankruptcy because that's the only way they can save their hedgy buddies. So if worst case scenario comes and Vice Chancellor Zerns approves the reverse split, if she approves the conversion, I will still hold on to my shares and keep doing the plays because I believe there's billions of counterfeit shit, billions, billions, probably 20 times a float. So even with a 10 to one conversion, they're still gonna be in the hole. Not as much as they would be without the conversion, but a 10 to one conversion does not save them. It still doesn't save them. It makes it easier for them, in my opinion. And once again, I'm not telling you to buy, hold or sell. I believe there's so many counterfeit AMC shares there that even when the 10 to 1 reverse split, they are still going to be in the hole. They're going to still be stuck between a rock and a hard place. And I still believe we are going to see our attendees. So if Judge Chancellor Zern, or Vice Chancellor Zern rather, approved the reverse split, it's not going to change anything as far as how I move with AMC and eight. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. If Judge Zern approved the reverse spinning conversion, are you gonna sell all your shares or are you gonna diamond hand the shares you have left? Anyway, have a great day, God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.